Okay, so I'm just recording this call. Um, my name is Alison Beswick. It is a Sunday evening and we're just doing a Zoom training of an update. So it is all about our fantastic new V-Line and our back offices and the changes with that. And then any general question and answers from any of the team. So I'm just going to start off because I'm not quite sure how much everybody knows about the V-Line. But the concept is with our VLAN is that people can come into our business and find out about our business without the financial commitment. And they can be in there until for us just before eight o'clock on a Friday morning. At that point, they will have been receiving emails from head office, videos from head office. You would have contacted them as well because you will get an email to, to say that someone's looked around your VLINE uh, link and therefore you can follow through with them and they can come into the business with one box of coffee so in that the uk that's working out approximately around 47p 47p 47 pounds the reason why i'm coming to the p bit is if they then decided to sell three weeks of that coffee they'll get 45 pounds so in the end it's going to cost two pounds to actually come into this business the 30 dollars is waived at this point and um, they can then obviously join that week share their link they will get their link they can then share that to people that they know that are interested and 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 it, and it can with that they're going to be able to look in their back office and there will be a check present there with their name on it and they'll be able to see an increase so they're going to be earning an income before they've even actually committed to the business so that is so so powerful the other thing is with this is they are trying the coffee. So for us, it doesn't mean that we're sampling the coffee out all the time. It doesn't mean that we've got where we're using our coffee to sample out and obviously the costings of that and the postage of that. People are enabling to come into the business, which we would actually get um, $10 for a pre-enrollee coming in to a V-line level. And they would also um, get the coffee to try. So for us, it's a complete no-brainer. It's an all-round fantastic opportunity for us to build this business. This aspect of building a business has not been done before. Yes, a power line has, we know that, but where they can actually earn whilst they're in that position is, is a new concept. And that's what we need to know. That's what we need to put out there. So what I've been doing is I've been de designing some promotional posts over the last few days, and you're gonna think, God, they're really, not what I thought you'd have done, Alison. And that's exactly what I'm wanting to achieve. I'm wanting to achieve something different to our posts that we normally have. So these are all graphite based, graphite color based. They look more technology posts. And it's because I'm wanting to promote the actual aspect of the V-line rather than, I know that we're pushed by the product, but everybody knows Vita Global's coffee. I also want everyone to know that it is us. So I have um, done the logo in the same design of how we have Vita Global so that people don't go, oh, what's Alison doing now? I thought she was in that coffee company. Yes, I am with that coffee company. I'm not going anywhere. Um, but I want them to create the intrigue to go, what else are they doing then? Okay, so it is going to be a little bit different or the first lot of posts are going to be a little bit different as well. And then obviously once it gets out there a little bit more, we'll combine both together. So once people have actually, if they pre-enroll it on our V-line, they become a V-liner and they've got one box of coffee. If they want to then upgrade and become a beginner, success or entrepreneur, they then do pay their $30 um, back office fee and they can upgrade. So if they're coming in at Ruby, they upgrade with four boxes. If they're coming in at, uh, sorry, Platinum four boxes, Ruby and Emerald, they would just upgrade the 13 remaining boxes. Now that's going to work really, really well for the UK market because we have a limit. Our compliance is that you can't do any more than 200 pounds in your first seven days. So the fact that this VLAN has come in for us in the UK, now we're going through our registration, is just perfect timing for us. So it means that we're, we're fulfilling our compliance there as well. As VGE, so Vitae Global Entrepreneurs as we are, we can actually upgrade currently and just pay the difference. We don't have to pay um, our $30 because we've already paid that when we first came into the business. So if anybody at the moment is platinum, they want to go to Ruby or Ruby go to Emerald um, or platinum go to Emerald, you can do that and just pay the difference. That will be available on your upgrade option as soon as our back office is all up and running. 
just to inform you about the back office, excuse me, I've been talking that much today. Just to inform you about the back office, we unfortunately have come across some hiccups. The lack of emails has been purely because when the link was first given out on that Friday night, somebody spammed big time and it just, it just crashed everything and shut us down. So we've had to get another server and that doesn't happen overnight. So that is why we're not getting our emails and our, mm. v, uh, our pre enrollees mm. are getting theirs. And um, the whole process of that has failed and that's purely due to spamming, okay? Which is really shockingly bad. That's really not good. So we have to be very, very careful on how we do this. We have to be in the UK, be more careful than anybody else because one, we don't want that to happen again for Vitae Global. But secondly, we don't want to be looked at spamming because we're going through registration. And obviously, as we know, spamming is a huge thing. Even MailChimp has strict guidelines on spamming. Now, I've spoken to George today, and we can put our link in our business pages and our business groups. And he did say, I should have recorded it, shouldn't I? He did say it can go on your timeline because it is optional if people choose to actually follow that link. So it can't be classed as spamming. I think what this person did was got all the spammed and got all the email addresses and was putting email addresses into the V line. So a massive, massive list of email addresses were just going in, 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 in from one person or a few people and it just crashed everything down. So this way, by putting your link out and not actually collating the email address, it is their choice to do that. And therefore, that's not classed as spamming. So it will also mean that I said, if it's a private message to somebody where, like I said this morning, you actually, I think a voice is very good because they can hear the excitement in your voice. You actually voice message someone and you say, hi, Louise, I've not connected you with a few months. As you know, um, I'm with Vitae Global. We've got something epic that's just come out. It's an absolute game changer for all multi-level marketers. I'd love you to have a look at it. There is no financial commitment at all. Would you follow this link and have a look and let me know what you think? And then you can put a couple of lines where you say, um, Vitae Global is the only company with weight loss active ingredients um, as a coffee and as um, extreme energy capsules. And please have a look at this link and we will, we will follow you with a four minute video which will tell you all about this fantastic new V-line. Something as simple as that, it's their choice. So you're not actually spamming them, okay? So that was one thing that was clarified for us this afternoon. Um, currently, they have a credit card and merchant services company that they are happy with now for the UK team. But same again, those processes don't come over, don't happen quickly because those processes, obviously, it's contracts that need to be signed and things like that. So they've got everything underway on that side of it. Obviously, the sooner we can get... Um, Angie and Bobby from doing all our processing, then that's going to be fantastic because those two work phenomenally hard for us. Phenomenally, phenomenally hard for us, Angie and Bobby. And all day yesterday, they were processing all our transactions. So that means that over the last two weeks when we've had these changes of servers, that when you've done an order through a person, you know, you've done a personal customer or an AMP or a personal order and you've messaged Angie, all those have had to be, they've been waiting to actually be processed through because they all have to be ordered manually. And Bobby, bless him, yesterday did all those for us. So that means that when the commissions are run, that it should be different when you look at, um, it, when you look at your commissions on Friday night, ready to be paid next week, it should be, it should be different and more relative to what you've actually done because obviously commissions won't have been for this week because obviously the transactions weren't through. When we do have a credit card system, as long as your debit card has that security there, it says Visa on it, you know, like it says Visa debit, then that will be okay to be used as well. Also, there will be a form of being able to pay by Bitcoin. So it'd be like credit card, um, a Visa debit card, Bitcoin, and there was another one. I can't remember, but there was another one as well. So that is, it's imminent that. Um, the emails are, they did say yesterday or today, but we've got one of the team members actually share something, I don't know it's gone in the chat because I've been on these calls, but I will look over that. That if you actually follow the link of what this, this team member's shared for us, 
um, and you may find that you've unsubscribed for a lot of the aspects of the emails. If you tick those and open it all up, then your emails may start coming through. I'll check tonight with mine and I'll go back in the chat and make you aware of that if that is the situation. Let me just make that note there. That's something I've got to follow through. Um, what else have we got? Let me look through all my little list here. I've got all my notes that I've been doing. Um, mm, mm, mm. What we will be doing, obviously, we have an opportunity call at nine o'clock on Wednesday night, and I will do a V line call. And I think I'm going to set up, because um, I've been talking to some team members, uh, set up a V line Facebook group. No, not a V line, a pre enrollee Facebook group and a pre enrollee chat because they're not classed as um, a VGE until they're obviously they're paid and they're actually upgraded. So really they should not be in our groups or our chats as a pre-enrollee, okay? It needs to be separate. So uh, we need obviously a place where they can go, where they can find out information and they can ask questions. So that is something that just currently looking at at the moment so that we have got something for them. I'm actually going to call pre-enrollees until they've got one box and then V-liners and then obviously we've got platinum, ruby, emerald or beginner success. Okay. Um, just make sure there's nothing else before I go into the chat. All our points, uh, George says, I've got to get off the phone now because I'm going to try and work on all the commissions today. So he's running the commissions. All the points will show gradually. What they first need to do before they can do the points is make sure the genealogy is correct. So like I keep saying, if you could please go into your back office to make sure your upline is correct, make sure your team's in the correct place and all your customers are there. They're only the three things you need to do um, at this stage. Don't worry about points. Don't worry about ranks. I think I'm a, probably a rusty copper and not even a platinum at the moment. But um, that will all change once obviously the genealogy is there. So please don't worry about points or ranks or whether you're an associate member or anything like that. That is not a concern at this moment in time. What will happen though is there is something happening. If you look at your email from the 13th of October and it's something that Angie's just clarifying for me now, is that there is going to be something where it's we're going to be grandfathered in. And what that terminology means is you're going to be given something that you haven't actually qualified for. Okay, so it's like a promotion, it's like a gift. So depending on what ranking you can come in at, for 90 days, you will be able to benefit on the builder code of that ranking okay but i'm just going to clarify that a little bit more i think that might be what's just been asked in the chat because i questioned angie on something she went oh no i've not thought about it that way so um just go back to your 13th of october email just read it through for me but i will clarify that about the a and p um that was angie to come back to me on that one uh, um there's no time limits on upgrades so it's not as if it's just a promotion that's going to end at the end of October. These pre-enrollees can go to a V-liner at any time. There is no uh, time thing on that. And I think really I'm now at a stage where I can look at the chat and I can look to see, we can open up see if there's any specific questions. So, uh, debit card, yeah, did you get an answer to the bonus upgrade? Yeah, that was that, weren't it, Julie? Um, I'm not quite sure whether if you come in at Platinum, if you come in at Platinum and you upgrade to Ruby or Emerald, there and you do the A and P equivalent of your binary volume, which is on that email, then you will hold that position at 90 days and you will financially benefit from the builder code. What I don't know is whether you can go from um, a jump up. So Angie's just finding that out from Julie. And when we find out that, I'll actually go and do a live, I think, and explain that whole situation and that actual email specifically, because I think it was a vital point that you brought up this morning. So does anybody have any specific questions? If you do, please just unmute yourself. I'll just have a look at that, Emma. Please unmute yourself and ask a question. I'm just going to look at Emma's questions. So I put customer through when we had no fully back. Okay, is that right now? And I need to put the customer through on my website so it's registered properly. No, not at the moment, Emma. You've still got to keep hold of that paperwork. Um, it's been put through your back office in the fact that you get paid on that customer. 
but as of yet we're not actually processing orders through we can go through and um put in new vgs new vitae global entrepreneurs because i showed you that format in the facebook official group but personal orders amps and personal customers at the moment in time, we're just holding back to actually physically bring that into our back offices. It's just that Bobby and Andrew have done it um, officially so that they we can get paid on it. Okay. Can, can I just ask a question, ask a question please? please? Of course you can. Right. When um, you get a... Oh, God, I'm getting feedback here. <laughs> when the, um, somebody joined up on the v, uh, the v line when they sign on to the v line and they've got until the friday morning to um to enroll and keep the people who are signed in underneath them yes after that week do they drop off the v line and have yes. to re-register or do they stay yes. in it no completely drop off that's the whole thing about it they right. drop off okay. and the thing is with that if they drop off then um anybody underneath them that joins up will just go to the upline yeah and that's all they've missed out I just, the level I just didn't know whether they would still have access after that week or whether it would just um that they would just disappear but that's um, fine yeah no it would all all compress up and they'd have to do it again and if they'd actually brought in team members they'd have lost the team members that yeah. them um so that's why it's so important that when it comes to thursday we have to follow up and make people aware of that situation so that they don't miss out on that we need to make sure that they actually look at their um back office and see that they've got a check there with their name in it because they will also be earning from the uni level three levels down they will get um five percent on the first level and then i'm sorry well, 5% it would be $5 and then they'll get $3 and they'll get $1. So they will be building up on a uni level aspect as well as a first order bonus aspect as well. So that's fantastic for people to see that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, love. Absolutely welcome. Right, I've answered that one. Okay, and any other questions? You're saying, Alison, um, about the charts i presume obviously if i've only bought the one box they don't go into your team chats no right no. i'll need to delete That's my husband line. obviously yeah i think uh, I, I think we will put um pre-enrollees and v-liners in one chat because obviously that the v-liners would in, would create an encouragement to the pre-enrollees um yeah and their own group if, if the odd one's being added in don't panic about it don't worry about yeah. it not an issue whatsoever it's just that i have somebody who mans that and obviously that person has no idea um she can't man it she, she doesn't know whether they're you know fully yeah. fledged really and i think obviously you know if somebody's staying at one box they're not classed really as an entrepreneur as such because they haven't paid they've not wavered to actually get a proper back office so until they've paid the 30 dollars and upgraded to platinum or ruby or emerald then they'll be classed as a v-liner and um we will get a different group set up for those i just don't know who's going yeah. to help manage that it just was and uh, the woman that was just chatting to you there you were saying to her once the, the pre-enrollees after their week they get cut off mm -hmm. and have to enroll. yeah my but I didn't have to do that with my husband. He was still there. Yeah, that's Could that because he's not had his emails. Yeah, that's because we haven't got all the follow through have we, at the moment in time. Um, but what will actually happen is when we've got all that processing through, that yes, anybody who hasn't actually. Um, oh no, because it's, it's coming at one box, though, aren't it? Yeah, but before that, he'd actually been on the pre enrol because once it opened up, um, he pre enrolled and then. Yeah, it was the week the weeks passed yeah. okay yeah yeah, yeah. he's just um re -en yeah. he re -enrolled, he enrolled this morning he joined up this morning with the one box but he didn't pre-enroll again no no that's fine that's absolutely fine i mean it may be that they're still classes of pre-enrollee but they may drop off a v line yeah so there may still be a contact there for you so you can recontact i'm not quite sure but they may just drop off a v line and if anybody been underneath them they lost those I will ask George if that's the case because obviously we don't see this physically running yet. It's hard to see. Yeah. So um, if pre and Rolly doesn't sign and the drop off, 
Is it gone or still in system? Okay. Okay, lovely, thank you. Hey, thanks, Al. If they drop up, yeah, they can end with all again. It's just that obviously they've lost everybody that was underneath them, Karen, but it sounds like that hasn't actually physically happened yet. Can I ask a question? Hmm. Of course you can. If, um, if a V-line um, person buys one box, do they go in the binary? Do they go in the binary? No. Um, no. You see, the thing is, Lisa, this is obviously all new to all of us. And yeah. because I can't, we can't see anything in our, in our back office, it's hard to actually see what's actually currently happening. Because for us, we get our, we get our $10 and they are classed as a V-liner. Yeah. Um, so then you would have thought, but they haven't paid the $30, have they? So they, they shouldn't have the full back office. This is what I was discussing with Karen this morning, which I still haven't got a clarified answer. I'll just see if they are popped. The only person who can answer all these is George. And he's right. so, so George, so we've got to ask if a V-liner would be in our binary because they haven't yet upgraded and paid for the $30, have they? That's what we're asking, Lisa, isn't it, basically? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got that one there. What Thank I'm you. What we have to do is... Obviously, we've got fantastic training tomorrow night, guys. We have got um, Steve Mitchell is a huge motivational uh, coach who's coming on to do training with us at nine o'clock. He has earned millions of pounds with uh, Juice Plus and he just lives his life now in Bali in Australia. He's just come over mm -hmm. to the UK. And um, so he's, it's going to be a great time to have with him. But I may just then say, if anybody wants to stay on, I'll go through any answers that just to clarify from this, okay? What email? Um, I got mine sent to me. Um, Julie, my darling, could you? We need to get that email in somewhere. Could you po copy that link, Julie, and put it in our chat? No, actually, Sorry, which link is that, Liz? No, I'm just going to say that email you sent me. No, I'll put it in the chat because then what I'll do is I'll put an answer to it as well. No, Kat, okay, I'll do that, darling. I'm just thinking, but please remind me, Julie and Kat, and I'll put it on there. On one of the Zooms, Bill or George said that people that just lose the people below them if they don't sign up and the members jump above them, but they stay in the V-line. So does that, so Nikki, do you, from that, would you then say that anybody else then the following week that come in, still go underneath them and that procedure keeps happening, that would explain that they're still actually present in the system? Yes. Hmm. So at least for us, there's still a point of contact and there's still our pre-enrollees. So we've still got an opportunity to then contact them and see if they do want to re-engage. So that will be ideal. What we need to kind of clarify, if they go to the next stage and they buy the one box, where they are in our, in our system in the fact that one box, are they benefiting from 10 levels of a compensation plan, even though they've not paid the $30? That to me doesn't seem quite correct. So that's the main part we need to find out now then is where they're actually placed as a V-liner without the upgrade. Okay, lovely. Um, Karen, I've just been saying that. Uh, not definitely no, but it is. I've only just got off the phone with Angie. In fact, Pamela just jumped on as we were finishing off. So obviously they're a bit behind and I think Angie had such a late night last night looking after us, she was a little bit behind. So George had to shoot off and sort out our commissions, which I thought I'm not going to stop him on that. And then I've had to come off my call to Angie to do this one. So um, it's on my list and I will get you an answer, Karen. Any other questions? You're welcome, Karen. Right, it doesn't have to be questions about the V-line, okay? Oh, um, right. We can open it up now. So, like I say, I've got Steve Mitchell on Monday. The Monday after, you've got to make sure everybody knows we've got Jim Britt. A week on Monday, a week tomorrow, we've got Jim Britt doing our training. So that's going to be amazing. I also, I don't know if you all know, I did share it, I think, on Friday night, that Jim Britt has a Live Life at Level 10 Facebook um, page, which I will reshare again. And he's happy for us to ask questions in there. He's happy for us to interact and actually ask questions about VTA Global or motivation or um, anything to do with 
what he can help us with or empowerment and things like that any books he recommends or if how anybody's feeling so that's there also i sent a link out i think it was thursday or friday night which is just something that you press a button to so that I can interact and connect with you quicker and faster. So if I find out something fast, I can let you know. Now, to be a team of 300, I think 53 did that. So don't think it's a spamming thing or anything like that. It has come from me. It's something I'm working on with a man in Texas so that we can push forward as a UK team. I can connect with you and get the information to you. But we are heading towards lead generation as well. So what I'm trying to do is trying to create something for you where we're going to create a lead generation program for the UK team. So I'm going to share that again tonight. Please share that down your teams and make sure that you do click that button if you haven't. And then it will take you into like um, what I believe like a capture page or a landing page. And then you'll be able to see our build that over the next few weeks. And then obviously you can maybe duplicate that down as well. So that's the idea behind it. It's not me trying to do anything else with you apart from help promote you and UK and, and keep us united and work with you all. Okay, any other questions? Should have... Oh. Go on, I can hear you. <laughs> I've forgotten I'd unmuted it. Um, so if, if we were fortunate enough for somebody to want to upgrade immediately, higher up, you know, um, they then would go in the binary, wouldn't they, under ourselves? It, what if they if it was coming? Do you mean if they're coming in at a platinum, ruby, or emerald? Something like that. I mean, initially you give them the concept of the V line right at the beginning, so they feel more comfortable. And then when they've had it, if they're really interested, they've had a good look and they think, right, I'm going for it. And they can then do they keep the analyst test? Do they then, if they they come and say it was one of mine, which I ain't got as you know, <laughs> but you get one that would sign up for the high amount, you know, the higher grade. Mm -hmm. And then anybody else that joins on only on the V line, isn't it? They can gain from that as well. Well, no, because obviously they are then part of an entrepreneur. And if they brought anybody in, they would have their own V line then, wouldn't they? So right. it's just like any of us they would still, obviously, if any of their V-liners then um, joined with one box, they would get their $10. If they didn't want to join at one box and they wanted to come straight in, which a lot of people have, we've spoke to a lot of people at the V-line and they've just jumped the V-line and come straight in with five boxes or 14 boxes because they've seen the business, seen the concept. So yeah. then obviously they would come straight in as a VTA global entrepreneur. Right. So... Um, so that's absolutely fine, but then obviously they would run the business same as us and they would have a V line link the same as us. Mm. Yeah, I've got you now, yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, love. Any more? Do, are we all kind of getting it? We're all kind of understanding this V line and the benefits it is to us, how powerful it is. Yeah? Does every, has everybody been using the V line? Has everybody shared the V line yet? I'm hoping that's not. Hi, Kamal. How are you, my love? I'm good, thanks. Um, I've just got a quick question, Angie. Okay. Um, sorry, Alison. Okay, yeah, um, yeah, I wanted to ask, so you know when someone comes in at one box, what limitations do they have compared to someone who's coming in at Ruby? What do you mean by limitations, Kamal? So, um, so is it that their binary levels don't open up or is there any difference in yeah, their back pockets? There is, because to open up your binary, you need to have 100 BB. So that's like two boxes of coffee or capsules. Right. Okay. So also with one box, this is what we we're just kind of like just saying with that question prior, that with one box, they haven't paid $30 being waived at that stage. So until they upgrade and pay $30, yeah. I wouldn't have thought they would be able to benefit from our 10 levels of a compensation plan but because we haven't actually got to that stage as such because we're still like kind of a week in that is a question yeah. we'll try and get answered for us that obviously you know if you the other thing is um where would the benefit from the builder code because we know our builder code at the moment we get like between eight and twenty dollars for everybody who comes into the business when you're at yeah. beginner successful entrepreneur well 
they are, they're not in that position. So I right. strongly feel that they become a V-liner and it just enables them to sample the coffee rather than us sending it out. They're getting the coffee for £47. Pounds. They're not paying a fee. It gives them just like, they're like, like in a holding bay where they're part of the business and they see yeah. the bigger picture. We show them the bigger picture of obviously upgrading so that then they benefit from everything. What I do want to clarify, which I 100% can t say to you now is, as a V-liner on one box, apart from carrying on building a V-line, and benefiting on the five, three, and one dollars on the uni level and getting more people in at ten dollars, do they benefit from anything else? And that Camel at the moment I can't definitely answer, but I am gonna get an answer tonight. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean as like a V line. I meant so you know you can't actually enroll at a one box, can't you? Um you we, we never did before. We never up to two weeks ago, um, not even two weeks ago, no, you came in at platinum. So the whole one box is okay. brand new to us. So our minimum package for anybody up to two weeks ago was actually um, a platinum package at five boxes. So the one, the one box is purely coming with our V-line. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't there for us before. You know, like the old right, okay. company, you could come in with less yeah. than, was it five or four? No, our lowest package was Since five. Oh, okay, that's okay so this is brand new for us, Kamel, but um, it is something we need to kind of work out because I don't, th this is me throwing my teddy out of bed, I don't think that they should really benefit from 10 levels when they haven't paid a $30, you know, towards our back office. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, because it's all new to us, and obviously when you actually watch a presentation, you don't know those nitty gritties, do you? This is why these, these sessions have been fantastic these last couple of Sundays because it means then I can come back with answers and we can get different questions, all our brains work differently, and then I can go back and get answers and come back. So these have worked so, so well these last few Sundays. So I really thank you for coming on because it just makes that we, we learn quicker, don't we? We get the answers quicker when everybody's asking these questions. Any more? Yeah, thank you. So if, Welcome. Hi, Lisa. Sorry again. Um, no, if okay. somebody comes in on one box yeah. as a V-liner and they decide to upgrade to five boxes, yeah. do they pay the difference for four and is the back office fee still labored? No. 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 When you upgrade and you come in, then you come in as a, a Vitae global entrepreneur, then no. It's not waived and you pay your $30, but you pay your difference. You don't pay for five boxes, you just pay for the four. Right, so they still have to pay the thirty dollars back office fee, and the um, but they only pay for four boxes. That's correct. Or that's thirteen. Correct. Yes, that's correct. And if you've got somebody at the moment that's at platinum but want to go to Ruby, because they've paid for their thirty dollars back office already, they don't pay that. They just pay the difference. You know, people right. are okay. currently in the business, not V liners or pre enrollees. Say I yeah. came in as Ruby and I want to go to Emerald. I've already paid my back office, so I don't pay that. And I just pay the difference in the costings. Fair enough. Yeah? Great. Yeah. Okay, we've got any more? No, we're all good. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So um i'll get these answers if i can get clarified answers i shall um tie them in with posts in our facebook group um we've got training the next two monday nights with great phenomenal motivation motivational speakers and i will do a little bit of a catch-up at the end of it for us opportunity call at nine o'clock on wednesday i will keep in touch with you all if you feel that you want me to do a v-line call on tuesday or thursday you know, if you say you've got a few people that really need to know about this V-Line, and I'm talking potentials, you know, people that have either joined the V-Line or think about joining the V-Line, I'm not talking like um, entrepreneurs, um, then I will do those on Tuesday or Thursday, make them short and sweet. And what I may do on a regular basis, which is all what I've got to talk to you a lot about, is do a V-Line call, I've locked my dog out at bedroom, do a V-Line call um, at 10 o'clock, but I don't know whether to just tie it in at the, at the end of the opportunity call. Okay, we will be working from a new presentation because just to let you know that our customer acquisition bonus has changed. We no longer are working on four levels. It's going to be actually moving to the uni level and everybody's going to financially benefit from that. They go because our uni level is a long term pension. They're going to work more on our uni level. They're going to make it more financially viable for us all to be earning. And also they are going to bring in 
um, over the next few weeks or months that we can actually hit card bonus through the uni level as well, rather through the binary. So it's fantastic because our CEOs and founders are part of the business, they see they can actively see what's happening and they go, oh no, people aren't achieving fast enough on that level and therefore we're going to put this here, there and everywhere. And that is just great because if people don't look in the back offices because they're just earning, they're just sat behind a desk, then they're not aware of everything that's happening like they are for us. So it's a huge, huge bonus to us that everybody is part of our business. Even our um, two guys who are actually building the back office are part of the business. So that's great. So if you've got any more questions, I am going to end it for today. Thank you so much for joining us on a Sunday evening. I really appreciate it. I'm really thankful I'm enjoying these question and answer sessions because it's nice because I can get to know you all better and I can bond with you all more. Remember, I'm here for you in any way that I can. We're trying to do it that you go to your direct upline first and if they can't, then it goes further up and it comes to me. Um, let's keep interactive on the chat. Obviously, let's get our testimonials in there. Let's build up our testimonials and um, that's absolutely great. Have we just got somebody who's just raised their hand? Hi, I'm sorry, it's me. I've got one quick last question. Um, so I joined a couple of days ago and two of my girls also joined me. Um, when I checked in the back office, I do understand that the back office is still being um, sorted out at the moment. Um, where, should one of them have fallen on my right and should one of them have fallen on my left automatically? Just when I check... Yeah, well, what will happen is, I mean, that you'll be able to decide where they want to go. And don't worry at this stage, because it's our problem that this issue is happening, we will be able to place them for you. Because okay. it's not your fault. But what would have happened two weeks ago with our old system, that you would have a spill in management, you could set it right, left, or automatic. And then obviously when you signed those people up, you'd have known. But you've not been able to see that, love. So you've had no known where they're going so you just keep a note where you want them to go and as soon as we've got access to our back office we will get in touch with Angie together and we'll make sure the place where they need to be for you all right that's great thank you okay, not a problem whatsoever thank it's not your fault that that's happened it's just the transfer over of the two systems which obviously no that's fine no that's great thank you you're welcome Aww. okay are we all okay right okay then so thank you so much see you all tomorrow night please make sure everybody knows about this i'm going to put it in now and naomi's going to share it all over um actually i'll speak to you about uh, i'll message you in a minute naomi about that because i'm just thinking how we could put it on the timelines in a savvy way that we've got this without actually obviously giving you know just the fact that we've got him basically yeah. and then we can do the same for Jim Britt the week after so I'll work with you with that tonight Naomi if that's okay with you and then we can tag everybody so thank you everybody for jumping on on a Sunday night we'll see you tomorrow at nine any problems any issues just go to your line or come to me and I'll help you in any way that I can good night everyone good night Alison thank you everybody everyone good night good night, good night.